morning everyone um, pretty quiet session overall with the market not doing a much there was a bit of um, a flip-flop around the soft data um, and what I mean by soft data is you know, the um, surveys right these are only surveys they're not hard data of what's actually happening um, but just purely surveys of what um, the service industry expects what the manufacturing industry expects and with these PMIs, anything above 50 is um, the market expects, or those surveyed expect conditions to improve. Anything below 50, they expect conditions to do, um, to not improve, to deteriorate. Um, so the market um, got a slightly better figure than what they were expecting on um, the services, US services, and uh, the market started to drop on that. Um, and same with the manufacturing, um, a little bit better than expected, but um, you know it's not great. It's still in contraction. And then the um, Richmond Manufacturing, which is a well-followed um, survey, uh, came in terribly, and so the market sort of flip-flopped around those information. So if we go and have a look at that on the chart, and see the dollar index, um, the that was when the, the um, Flash and um, services and manufacturing came out, and this is when the uh, Richmond index came out. So, um, other than that, when you look at it on a daily, it really hasn't done much at all. Right? It's drifting lower on the four hour, kind of drifting lower on the hourly, um, and we're back at the bottom end of that range, and more than likely, probably going to go that direction uh, at this stage. Um, yeah, so, uh, that's the dollar index. If we look at the stock markets, you can see the similar sort of price action around the same time. Um, you know, midnight was the um, manufacturing numbers. Um, sorry, midnight yeah, around here. So we see that flip flop, um, and the market sort of uh, turned back in the uh, bullish direction, um, and then got sold off into the close towards the close uh, before. This is the actual close up here, so um, a bit of a buying into the, into the finish. But again, when we look at it, the daily, not much price has moved. Right? Price has just gone pretty much sideways. So a bit of a nothing session. Uh, down in bond land, I'd say it's pretty much the same. Um, again, we get that movement around those numbers, but over and all, um, we're seeing a bit of weakness in here. Um, bucking a trend and when we come to commodities gold is still holding up after having a bit of a fun trip as well um, oil off but iron ore um, still up and copper still holding on to that China story that we uh, talked about yesterday um, looking at individual currencies the Aussie dollar creeping higher, um, so is the momentum indicator. Um, it's really struggling to sort of get through that previous high from last week at 70.50. Um, 70.62. Uh, it might get through there today um, based on the US dollar not really doing much. Um, and US bonds coming off a bit. Yeah, maybe the China story might push. Uh, even though it's still just a story, it's not real hard data yet. Um, that might push the Aussie dollar through, and it might be able to hold on to this 70 cents, and we get uh, another cycle higher. Euro, similar story. It's had a high test. Um, you know, it's not a double top like the pound is, but there's certainly resistance uh, up here, and um, a definite lack of conviction either way. Uh, you'd have to go with the buyers and the, um, you know, and the longer term trend, which is this direction for the last couple of months. Um, you'd have to go in that direction and play it in that direction. But it's uh, kind of like pulling hen's teeth at the moment. When you look at it, it's you know, really only about a um, well, low there is, so it's a 110 pip range uh, for the last week, which is pretty difficult to have fun with. Um, pound, as we thought, this double top um, 
providing some opportunity and that should uh, continue to play out as long as the US dollar story behaves um, but if the US dollar continues to weaken then maybe that double top <laughs> will get broken and dollar yen is still in that channel nicely tagged that channel overnight um, and came off 131 a high was 131.12 um, certainly on that channel line uh, which is just arbitrary to, uh, to be honest with you but certainly we're seeing this cycle repeat itself and no reason to think otherwise and again around that news of the um, surveys price flip flop so fun and games as always um, you want to try and find excuse me situations where um, you've got a, a currency that's strengthening um, against the currency that's weakening um, what have we got you know pound is uh, a little weaker Aussie's a little stronger maybe the pound Aussie is an opportunity um, the yen seems to be a little stronger at the moment um, pounds a little weaker uh, might be something there as well um, oil price uh, um, or VIX so quick Ugh. no fear no fear of the future um, oil price uh, might might be turning here technically we've got higher highs and higher lows now so technically we're actually in an uptrend um, but that also looks pretty weak so CAD might be selling CAD might be an opportunity yeah pretty difficult out there at the moment I wish you all the best with it